thing. And now we're gonna start working again. But pulled my pulled my nifty chart back up. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new folder so I don't interfere with any of the files. So I'm just gonna be like new setup. Sounds good. Gonna go to the cloud folder where Grimmy's cloud is. Battle, where his battle model is. Just gonna highlight all of these RTs. Gonna control C copy. And paste it into my new folder. That way this folder is untouched and everything's in this new folder here. But the more you mess with, you're going to realize that backing up and keeping your original files, like, because like one little mistake, you could lose, a, you could lose your battle LGP, which means you have to do a complete clean install of Final Fantasy VII, along with rerunning bootleg or whatever else you may use. But we're going to open Chimera. open model gonna go to this new setup folder I created RTAA now wait a second and voila we have Grimmy's cloud model just a few basic controls left click move the mouse around rotates right click down zooms in up zooms out left and right click, move it around. Alright, so go down here. You can see he's using Mike's Buster Sword along with Millennia's weapons. This Dark Ragnarok along with Mike's Mike's Ultima Weapon. And we're going to go to show texture options. Look here, you can see zero. That's Grimmy's cloud model from his shoulder, from his neck down. One, that is Millennia's. Uh, Millennia's weapon textures. Two, Grimmy's head model. So. Here's Grimmy made his made his model and textures to work around with Millennia's weapons. And three, Mike's Ultima weapon and Buster Sword. And up here is Grimmy also made it. So Grimmy's Cloud, Millennia's weapons, and Mike's weapons work very well together. And then four. Um, you could use four for Ultima for Mike's Ultima Ultima weapons effect, but here it's set up to use this dark this dark Ragnarok as you can see. But um, personal request is to show how to include Slayer's dirty Buster Sword. So, but because Slayer's Buster Sword uses the same texture ID as Grimmy's head, what we'll have to do is change the texture ID. I'm gonna quick show you how to do that. Going back to back to your back to the folder where I have everything at. I have, by the way, completely forgot to mention this. Um, for some things, you will need image to text, but. I'll show you an example later on when you will need image to text. So here's Slayer's weapons and his textures as well. Alright, but we're gonna open bid turn. And desktop, new folder. 
we go. Slayers. As you can see, you can... Here are his textures, but... Weapon files, unknown file type. So, what we have to do is we have to go back to... Just in your file browser, go back here. Um, create a new folder so you can keep the original files. It's going to highlight all again, copy, paste. But come down to RTCK, which is the model for Slayer's Buster Sword. To get it to work in BitTurn, just rename it, add a .p. And then this here, RTAE, that's texture ID 2. And AF is ID 3, ID 4, ID 5, so on and so forth. But we're going to copy and paste a new one. But for Slayer's weapons, to get a dot text file, all you have to do is dot text and voila so now that we have dot p we have our dot text and we have our original file um, Gonna go into that new folder I made. There's Slayer's weapons here. That's the model for the Buster Sword. Gonna convert that. All right, see RTCK dot three DS. Convert. Then we have RTAE. I'm going to convert this one to a bitmap. RTAE. Convert. Good, we can minimize that for now. Alright, now it's time for P Creator. Sorry. We're going to open that 3DS file of Slayer's Buster Sword, which is here. It saved the, the root of this folder. And I'm going to click open that. Um, you can see it's not very... You see a ring. Um, some base controls here. Uh, we'll select it. Um, right click move up as many times as you can. Now we zoom out and we can see it. So we select it here, RTCK, options, do battle model, file, open bitmap. We're going to open that bitmap that we converted in BitTurn from the RTAE, that file. Now we're going to go to View, UV Coordinates, got to flip it on the Y axis, and as you can see, looks like the Buster Sword, but just an example, if this is what it would look like if you didn't flip the, didn't flip it on the Y axis just looks wrong not it's not that good so so it's very important to flip it on the y axis or else it just it just doesn't work
Alright, and then come over to the, we have to change the texture ID because it interferes with Grim, the texture of the head of Grimmy's Cloud. And because I'm going to use that Dark Ragnarok and Mike's Ultima weapon, um, Tex ID 9 is free because I'm not going to be using Slayers. Um, actually, better yet, I'll use Tex ID. I'll use Tex ID 5 just because it's next, and I'll be using Millennia's Millennia's weapons for these, so that's free as well. So edit texture ID. I'm gonna use texture ID 5. File save as Final Fantasy 7 Battle Model. I'm gonna go to my new setup gonna save it there. I'm gonna replace the current one. Right. I'm gonna reopen this model just to refresh it. Alright, so as you can see, Slayer's Dirty Buster Sword is humongous and not textured. Double click that. Uh, resize it. Even though it says one, it's actually a hundred. So ten. I'm gonna cut it down to ten percent of its size. Apply changes. It's down to the right size. It's just backwards. Double click again. Um, if you look at it, it has to be spun on the. It has to be turned around. And by turning it around the z-axis, it'll do that. And it has to be turned around just one half, so 180 degrees. Apply changes. And it's good. Back to textures. I had to double click this again. Um, make it a little bigger. You can see it, it uses five. I only have one, I have zero through four, and so I need to add a texture. I'm gonna go to that, gonna go in the Slayer's weapons where I made that extra folder. Uh, look for a text file. RTAE is what I set it up for. And there we have it, we have Slayer's Dirty Buster Sword with Grimmy's Cloud Model.